Hello everyone, this is David Malley. Welcome to our on-demand session. Today, we will help you understand how to discover and govern the use of third-party generative AI applications in your environment. And be aware that this session is not a simple demo. It's a real step-by-step, side-by-side session. And our goal is to make sure that by the end of this recording, you have your environment configured and ready. And so the goal of this session is, number one, to help you configure Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps to detect new generative AI applications, learn how to evaluate them, and possibly block them or allow them. To do that, you have a couple prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have a Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps environment that has app discovery enabled. It can be through MDE, Law Connector, or any partner integration like Zscaler. And of course, you need the proper access rights to Defender for Cloud Apps, making sure that you're able to create simple discovery policies and to view discovery data. Let's get straight to it. And we'll start by reviewing one of the prerequisites. We want to make sure that if you are using the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to send data for discovery, uh, you have this part cover. It's a one-click integration. All you have to do is go to the settings, to the Defender for Endpoint part, and then there is one checkbox, make sure that it's enabled, as we see here. Now you should all have it enabled. We can save our preferences, and you can go back to the Cloud Apps part of the console. If you're just enabling this now, give it a couple hours so that data can trickle in. In the meantime, there's a second setting we would like you to configure. Go back to the settings page, this time under Cloud Apps, and look for the entry that says Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Then we want you to look at this first checkbox here on the page. It allows you to block unsanctioned apps using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint integration. It's your decision whether you want to enable this or not. Now we can come back and get to the AI discovery part of this discussion. So let's go under the Cloud Apps category and let's click on the Cloud App Catalog. It will list all the apps that Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps catalogs and that's more than 30,000. And you can see there's a lot of them. They all have a score and uh, they're all categorized as well as you can see here in this capture. And we'll make a quick search we will search specifically for AI application. And you can see we have 425 of them and counting that we categorized so far. You can see all the basic ones. If we go into the next page, you will also see the less uh, known one. And uh, they're, as you can see, they're all categorized. They have a score as well. And you can see if an application is deemed secure or not based on that score. And you can also define what you would like to do with this application. Now, if we move to the cloud discovery parts under discovered applications, you can see the apps that were actually found in your environment, not just in your catalog, but found in your environment. And we're going to filter again by generative AI applications. And here, so that's much less, that's two, but that's the ones that are used in the environment. So we can see Microsoft Copilot and Google Bard. You can decide if these are relevant to you or not, and you can sanction them or unsanction them. So let's say we want to unsanction Google Bard, for example. You will see that it is uh, now unsanctioned and it's not reachable by your uh, current users. So now it's great. You can see all your apps, but maybe you would like something a little bit more automated. So we can create a policy. And for that, just click on this button, New Policy from Search and it will automatically bring you to the create new app policy page. And you're able, you have already the filters that you use that are populated and you can create matching criteria. So right now we only want to trigger when there is, let's say 50 users or more for one day. And the category has to be generative AI. And we also want to make sure that we only target the risky applications. So we're going to choose the risk score filter and we're going to put it between 0 and 5. 
Now you can decide to automatically unsanction any app that matches that policy as we're doing here. Don't forget to put a name on the policy and that will automatically block any app that you deem risky. Obviously the thresholds and settings we chose here are a sample of what you can do and I encourage you to configure what is relevant in your environment. If you're an extremely large organization, the 50 user threshold might be too small. If you're an extremely small organization, it might be too high. So I invite you to edit that as you please. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope this was productive for you and that you were able to configure the settings which you suggested. We're very happy to hear in the comments of this video any other scenario for which you would like to have on-demand sessions just like this one. Thank you all.